so stupid if that's the kind of mulch they're teaching in school these days. It's a self-improvement course. It teaches you how to be a better man. Yeah. So who wants to be a man anyway? I don't think I have much choice. You ought to take botany so you can learn how to be a better plant. A better plant? Should have thought of that idea before. You threw my book in the compost heap. You know, Seymour. <laughs> I've been thinking. Uh-oh. How about you and me cooking up a little experiment in plant improvement? I don't know how to cook. You don't know how to cook? To learn how to cook, I'd have to take home mech class. And real men don't take home mech. <laughs> Junior high. <coughs> this is Seymour Quillborn's mother. I'd like to transfer the little sprout from men's study to home. The next morning, I went to the school office to find out what room my new class was in. Quillborn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The weenie. Room 34. Listen up. I'm Mr. Benchwarmer, the boys' gym teacher. I'm going to be taking over home ec class until Mrs. Beaton gets over her food poisoning. Hi, I'm Seymour Krellborn. Krellborn? You know, men's studies isn't exactly what I expected. Oh, yeah, the weenie who wants to take home ec. Get Zeus, home ec! Get that hem straight or I'll have you doing laps. There's been a terrible mistake, Mr. Benchwarmer. I'm supposed to be in... In your desk, Kralborn. Row one, beside Mushnik, A. Eh? Did, did he say Mushnik? If I stay in Homek, I'll get to sit next to Audrey. <sighs> I guess being a man means making tough decisions. This new refrigerator is so efficient that the power company pays you to run it. I decided to stay. If you can't be a man's man, be a weenie's weenie. 
The electronic brain in this baby has twice the IQ of the average football player. You know, Audrey, I always hoped we'd find something in common. I think home ec is for weenies. Mm. My father made me take it. He says everybody should. Hmm. I wish somebody would start a grease fire. Ever since Audrey was 12, she's wanted to be a fireman. <laughs> but this was before she saw... <laughs> The refrigerator. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's a kitchen appliance. I think it's really cool. For women. I hope Pain doesn't find out I'm taking home up. Well, boys, taking home up. You wanna be a man, just listen and you'll see. You gotta cause a lot of trouble. Are you following me? You need a name. A tough as pain. That's Kelly Seymour. You couldn't be more of a wimp. These men don't cry. They never clean. We always lie. We're always mean. You gotta stay up late at night. Stay for a fight. If you take home rap, you never get respect. Men don't cook. Can't read a book. You climb up trees. You play with bees. You don't make bread. You eat I can hold my head up high. I'm a tough guy. It's so great to be a man. You could never understand. You're a weenie. A homeless weenie. But I'm a man. I'm a real man. From the habits that I reach every day of every week. It's true. He's a real man. Yes, I am. He's a real man. break my bones, but this is really embarrassing. <laughs> What'd you learn in school today? How to endure humiliation. Let me know if you need another lesson. Seymour? Huh, nothing yet. I've been watching this pot for hours and it still hasn't boiled. I have to cook something for home ec class. I'm making boiled water. It's low in cholesterol. What you need is an old family recipe. Grandma Rose's vegetable stew. We call him stew for stew. My family's been in it for years. Wait a minute. What are you doing with a recipe for something made out of vegetables? Granny was a cannibal. <clears throat> Besides, if you're going to get stewed, it might as well be among friends. Why do I feel like he's up to something? Don't just sit there like a piece of moth. Let's go to the grocery store. There they are, frozen vegetables. How about showing some respect? Sorry. And don't forget the cauliflower. Life as we know it would be impossible without refrigeration. Without frozen dinners, we couldn't watch TV without starving. There'd still be popcorn. My father wants me to learn how to make his favorite dish. Meatloaf a la Mushnik. They sure don't have a very good meat department here. Seymour, <laughs> that's very rude. Excuse me. That night, Junior and I sneaked into home ec class to make his grandmother's recipe. I thought you said this was vegetable stew. It looks more like a salad to me. His name's Stew. Give me those black olives. 
Mm. On second thought, let's use green ops. They look more mysterious. All we need now is the secret ingredient. Oregano? A human brain. Yes, Luke! I thought Junior was helping me find a recipe for home ec class. But he was really making a monster out of frozen vegetables. It's a scientific experiment, Seymour. A chance to stop being a weenie and start being a nerd. He really hits you where you live. But first, we gotta find a brain. No way. It's just not possible, and as a matter of fact, it's not logical. A man without a brain, come on, give me a break. That's like a bowl of cereal without the place. You know it takes brains to count from one to ten. Figure the odds, know the beginning from the end. It takes brains to bust a move. It takes brains to win and lose. Build a man without brains, come on, get serious, yeah. You better get yourself some plant food, because you're delirious. How's he gonna know right from wrong? Or even understand the meaning of the song? You need it now. Nope. Nuh-uh. You can't wait. Yep, yep. You gotta have a brain or you'll vegetate. So move it, cause, uh, it's getting kind of late. Yep, yep. Mmm, before you vegetate. I never realized a brain was so important. It's practically a necessity. Come on, Seymour. Be a good eggplant. Help me find a brain. Well... All right, but it has to be one that nobody's using. The next day, we looked everywhere for a brain. First, we tried the little shop of heads, but their brains were too small. <laughs> then we tried the mummy in the museum. Too old. I went back to the grocery store, to the gourmet section. Liver, kidney, tongue. There must be some brains around here somewhere. Don't bet your feelings on it, Quellborn. Pain! What are you doing here? Looking for canned weenies. I always avoid gourmet food. I'm gonna get even for this, Quellborn. Mr. Mushnick. You know where I can find a good brain? If I had a brain, would I be here? Little did I know that disaster was about to strike. So that's what the weenie's been cooking up. Please close door or frozen food may thaw. Why can't we borrow Payne Driller's brain? He'd never miss it. There's somebody in the home ec room. It must be Audrey. I came here to make a meatloaf, but I made a major career decision instead. I've decided to become a refrigerator repairman. It's a lonely life, but a repairman's gotta do what a repairman's gotta do. People will try to put the lid on you and put you back on the shelf. And people will try to put your dreams on ice and won't let you be yourself. Come on and be yourself. Don't be just a leftover with a frozen heart. And don't let life life. give it a cold shoulder and make a fresh new
I guess a real man can be anything he wants. Even a girl. Well, I'd better go tell my father what I've decided. Huh? What about your meatloaf? Huh? Never mind. Let the house dude keep it. <gasps> He's gone. Shut the door. It's warm out there. We've got to find him before he thaws out. Benchwarmer likes boiled water. If only we had a brain, we could still... A brain. It's been right here all the time. Why is he looking at me? I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the refrigerator. Begin automatic defrost cycle. It's a lot smarter than you are. Better things for better living through botany. Quickly, Igor, I mean Seymour, go up on the roof and fly this kite. Isn't that a little dangerous? I need electricity to bring Stu back to leave. Why don't you just flip a switch? That's how everybody else gets electricity. You mean they send electricity right into buildings where people live? Isn't that dangerous? Not if you're careful. Has he come to life yet? No, but I smell cauliflower. <laughs> it's alive. Look. The frost cycle completed. I've created a human being. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Adjust temperature settings. You've got to do something, Seymour. I'm turning into a frozen vegetable. I don't know how to turn it off. I'm not mechanically inclined. Do not reset automatic controls. Roll me some aluminum foil. I'm getting freezer burn. I can't stop him, Junior. I think he's gone bad. Store meat in separate meat keeper. You know, Junior, a real man needs to know as much as he can, even if he has to learn it in home ec class. Chicken soup. Out there in the real world, it's cook or be cooked. Feed me! Excuse me. I don't want to hear any more of that moralizing. I'm already as sick as a dogwood. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Junior, if you're sick, it's your own fault. Just give me a tissue. Junior, maybe you should learn to accept plants as they are without trying to make them be something they aren't. Maybe you should just beat me. How's it going, dudes? This is Bill S. Preston, Esquire, and Ted Peter Logan. Check out our all-new most excellent adventure. Coming up next, totally on Fox. Excellent!